Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Little breezy and windy day today in San Francisco, but it's not gonna stop me from going up there. Let's get this started. interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Up here, the Corona Heights neighborhood because San Francisco has a lot of man-made rock formations that people decide to make a park out of it. You saw me yesterday, I was at the Grand View Park because they had a big rock formation up there. And today, we're gonna go up Corona Heights Park because of the same reason, but check out these drone footage before we start. Let's go. Now, a few vlogs ago, I went down Randall Museum. So if you're interested in the Randall Museum, let's go down the street right here. This is Museum Way, the street right here. And it's free to get in. Just got to donate some, some something. Donate your time, donate your money. But we're headed this way. And yes, we're going to make it, make it to the top up there. Let's go. Let's go check this out. Here's a quip quick map of where we're going and what we're doing and you can notice how white yellow and red or orange whatever you want to call that color white is easy on this little trail yellow becomes a little more challenging and red it's challenging so you're gonna hear me huffing and puffing they got some rules this is a dog park so be careful with dogs and be careful with dog droppings as people like to call it, dog poop. Just be careful. But we're here, and we're gonna head up over there. Let's start walking. As the map said, there is two ways to go up to the top. There's that way, which seems like a little longer way to go around. Or there's this way, which is a little more on the moderate to challenging side. But yes, it is a dirt path. It is a dirt road. I'm gonna make it up there because I heard the view it's pretty good I don't know if it's grand but it's pretty good let's go check this out and the hike begins with these wooden cut out you can see the wood frames that they just put dirt in the middle There's no sm no smoking no picking of wildflowers feeding of wild animals is prohibited your dogs must be on the leash Stay on the trail and please remove your dog waste. And here we are ascending up to the very top. All right, let the heavy breathing begin. Again, just like Grandview stairs, this is a hike up to get to the top. But once you get to the top, again, it's a a good view up here so we're gonna make our way to the rock formations to the top I'm gonna give you a 360 view of what this city has to offer but first decisions this way or that way left me with a fork in the road do I go up the stairs 
take it a little easier that way. Or do I go around where it's a little less steep? Let's see where these stairs lead first. Another trail, another path. Just because I don't feel like going back down, this is the way we're going. You look over here, someone left some green marker flags. So either that was a path that they were leaving markers for, maybe buried treasure, or maybe a dead body. Kind of freaky, but onwards and upwards. Let's keep going. From up here, you could already see parts of Twin Peaks. That's the Twin Peaks up there that everyone goes and visits, not the Suto Tower, which is right directly behind this tree right here. You see that hawk that just flew right by me? You got, again, million dollar homes up in here. You can hear parrots flying around in the distance. But we're moving up. Let's keep going. All right, it is windy up here. I got my, my mic with my wind muff on, so you should be able to hear me clear, but now way almost to the top. Check out that view. Not all the way up there yet, but you got the view, downtown San Francisco. Eastern spanned, you can kind of see the tip of the Bay Bridge just to the right of the Salesforce Tower right there. And then a view of a beautiful city. And it is windy where I'm at. Pretty cool. And just like I said, you got Sucho Tower right there. The other day, yesterday, I was on the other side of that hill right there. And people, I did mention that there used to be once a suicide forest amongst those trees right there. This was back in the 50s and the 60s. We'll touch on that sometime soon. Not today. All right, as we make our way almost to the top, you got people here who is enjoying the view. The wind is deafening. It is loud and deafening. We're gonna go check out this view. Here's the reveal. How cool is this? I decided to duck behind the rocks to see if I can make my way up the rocks. But again, this view is tranquil. Let's go up and see if we can get to the top. I made it up. And it's a nice 360 view of what San Francisco has to offer. West, south, east. And as we pan around, the north. And it is super windy up here. I'm holding on for dear life. I made my way to the very top of these rocks right here. It is windy, so the sound's going to be a little muffed. Man, it's worth it. This view, my goatee keeps hitting me in my face. I keep thinking it's dust or dirt in my face, but no, it's my goatee. But check out this view. Okay, made it down from these rocks, and these rocks are jagged. Wearing shorts, not, not a good idea today. But I'm going to try to hide behind the rocks right here where it's less windy so you can hear more of me and see more of the city. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. Again, San Francisco, if I pan more this direction, you can see all the rock formation Sutro Tower right there. That little one right there. You got Kite Hill. 
you got Tank Hill. I think that little one right there is Tank Hill. Then Kite Hill is not that far away from Kite Hill or Tank Hill. And if we just look around, you see all different formations. That's Kite Hill right there. Different natural rock formations, mountain ranges here in a city. Believe that? Pretty cool. Right there below, you can see the Castro flag. Right there, you got the, the freedom flag flying high. You got the Castro district. You can see Diamond Heights up in here. Towards that direction, you can see Bernal Heights. You see General Hospital right over there. If you look really, really close, right there in the middle of the screen, if you see all the big cranes, that's the new Warriors Arena, Chase Arena. It's gonna be built next year. Right down there you see Mission Dolores. Man, this another hidden San Francisco secret that is a must. It's a must visit. You can go up there and take your families and go up there to Twin Peaks. You get a good view of the city, which is crowded, parking's hard. You can't get up to Sutro Towers unless you get to just the base of it and you got no view like here. But you get up here, you can see, there's nobody here. It's just me right now. Everybody left. Everybody left. But it's still a beautiful view of San Francisco. As we walk down a little further down towards the edge, you get a nice view of the west. Or actually the north, I'm sorry, that's the north. That's the west view the north. You can't really see much of the north from where I'm standing, but behind this pink building right there, you'll see the, you should be able to see the tip of the Golden Gate Bridge. But man, this is a cool place to just chill, relax. I bet you next month, which is Fleet Week, October, I bet you a lot of people are up here checking out the aerial show. Might have to pay a visit up here. Don't tell nobody, all right? I want to be the only one up here. Don't tell nobody. It's our little secret. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a different path going down. I went up this direction over the rocks, but check out that rock formation. Check out Sutro in the fog. I'm going to start working my way down and again I'm going to go down this direction and more man-made wooden stairs. Even though the rule said stay on the trails, I'm going to take a quick walk over here. Oh, it's another trail down this way. Down there again, like I said, is the Randall Museum. This place is windy. I'm going to head back down towards the stairs. They got this fence line right here where you shouldn't go around, but the fence line ends right over there. I don't think you want to go past this fence line. I don't think you do. So I'm going to stay along the fence trail and just check out again a view of this beautiful city. And there's the Randall Museum right below us. Got to check that out. I'm going to leave links to the description of when I came out there the last time. You got to check this place out. Randall Museum is definitely a must visit here in San Francisco. This fence line is breaking to the right but that's not where I parked so I gotta make my way to the left right down here or maybe I can go down to the right because there's no way I'm going down these nah -uh. so I'm hoping there's a little break down there 
when I get can get to the bottom, yep, there is. This little break where I can make my left down. Made it somewhat to the bottom, not quite all the way there, but I was standing up there earlier. See where that lady is sitting up there? That's where I was. Look at this little log circle right here. Camping is prohibited, so I'm pretty sure there's no campfires or anything going on. Again, this is one of those blink and you'll definitely miss this area of San Francisco. Corona Heights, Corona Heights Park, right here in Corona Heights neighborhood. Pretty cool spot to visit. Definitely come check this out. Bring your friends. Tell them we'll do Pier 39 and Fisherman's Wharf another time. We'll do Twin Peaks another day. We'll take you up here where it's not a lot of people. A little windy, but it's definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Today is windy. Maybe some days, maybe a day that you come up here, it's not going to be windy. But it's definitely worth it. All right, made it back to the bottom. You got a little dog park right here where you can just let dogs run wild and run free. But I made it back. I came down this hill, which is more of a moderate path than I did going up. Going up was a little more on the strenuous one, st strenuous side, but I came down the moderate path which is not that bad. Not that bad, and check this out. They didn't have this on the other side. Coyote advisory. Why don't you tell me this on the other side? Jeez. And again, the rules of the park. And in case you want to come here in the middle of the night, you got park hours right here. Six to 10, sorry. Not allowed here past 10 p.m. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Corona Heights, Corona Heights Park here in San Francisco. Randall Museum just down the road. Twin Peaks just on the other side of the hill. Definitely a must check out when you're in this neighborhood. Even if you're not in this neighborhood, come check this place out. Definitely worth the trip, worth the hike. Again, I came on a day that it's windy. Hopefully when you come up here, it's not going to be as windy, but man, definitely worth it. Thumbs up for watching. I came up here to show you guys parts of San Francisco that most likely you never would come up here. On your trips to San Francisco, you probably would just, again, hit the more tourist spots like Pier 39, Fisherman's Wharf, Alcatraz, all that stuff. Get off the beaten path. Come over here. Check out Corona Heights. Yesterday, I was up at, trying to think, I was up at the Grand View Park. Check out the Grand View Park when you're up here in San Francisco as well. Definitely cool places to visit. Definitely a must. If you want to get a good 360 view of the city, this somewhat a 360 view, but not a full 360. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And that's it. Tomorrow's adventure. We'll see. We'll see where we lead to tomorrow's adventure. We'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been fun. Logs ended. Go in peace. Somewhere up there, there's coyotes. And you didn't tell me till I was on my way down. Thank you. Thank you. I made this.